Oscar Romeo 4, Italy Sierra Sierra, Oscar Hotel 1 Foxtrot calling, over. Oscar Romeo 4, Italy Sierra Sierra, Oscar Hotel 1 Foxtrot calling, over. Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra, Oscar Hotel 1 Foxtrot calling, over. Oscar Radio 4, Italy Sierra Sierra, this is Oscar Hotel 1 Foxtrot. I copy you well, Chell. Are you ready for our questions, over? I am uh, delighted to be talking with the uh, Uvila Upper Secondary School today, and I'm ready for your questions. Hello, this is Arthur. What time zone do you use there, over? R2, we uh, use the uh, Greenwich Mean Time, so um, currently it's about uh, 11.45 in the morning. Over. Hello, this is Miva. What do you do in your free time at the station? Over. Mika, I like to uh, spend time uh, looking out the window, taking photos, and uh, talking on the phone with my uh, family and friends, and uh, and trying to share this experience with everyone. Over. Hi, my name is Ivanis. If we found life beyond the Earth in the future, would it be right to disturb its evolution? Over. Ivanis, that's a very interesting question. Of course, I think the answer that uh, is that we would not want to disturb um, any life, uh, new life evolution, but uh, I think that we would be very interested in trying to uh, learn more about it, and in doing so, uh, we might very well uh, disturb the environment in which uh, this new life is uh, taking place. So I think that's something that we should think about and uh, take very seriously. Over. Hi, it's Seven here. What is the best experience you have had while being an astronaut? Over. question, okay? Sounds good. Hello, my name is Heidi. Is there something that you didn't, did not expect to be hard for you, but it is over? Heidi, that's a great question. Um, you know, I think uh, living and working in weightlessness is a, is a lot of fun, uh, but uh, I'm, I was a little surprised on how difficult sometimes it is to do work and how to keep, keep things organized. Anytime we open a bag, everything wants to float out and uh, trying not to lose things is a, is a big challenge. Over. Hi, this is Ruby. For how long are you staying in the International Space Station? Over. Shubi, I'm going to be up here for a little over five months, and uh, we're about a quarter done with our expedition, with our mission, and I'll be returning in late uh, December. Over. Hello, my name is Harvey, and I would like to ask you what kind of food do you eat at the ISS? Over. All right, our menu is pretty good. The food is, uh, is decent. Uh, some of it is, re is dehydrated, and we have to have water. Some of it is uh, thermostabilized, so we just put it in a food warmer. Um, we have uh, all the basic chicken and beef and pork. Uh, dehydrated uh, to be rehydrated vegetables. Um, the menu repeats itself though, and so sometimes it gets uh, it gets a little old. But uh, we always find ways to uh, spice it up to make it taste good. Over. Hi, this is Arthur again. Which which is the most interesting project you have been working with on the ISS? Over. Well, um, Arthur, there are, there are over 240 um, experiments on uh, the on the space station while I'm up here. Um, I enjoy looking at all the physiology experiments because my background is as a physician, but I think the most fun has been working with the uh, veggie experiment, growing the lettuce up here on, on the space station. Over. Hello, Mika here again. What is your favorite sight you can see from the space station? Over. Mika, I think one of the most uh, beautiful things that I've seen is uh, the aurora, the uh, aurora australis, and uh, just the incredible greens and purples. Um, and how quickly it, it uh, undulates over the surface of the Earth. Over. Yeah, it's Johannes again. Which is the most interesting item you have ever printed with Made in Space 3D printer? Over. Johannes, so thank you for the question. Unfortunately, I have not gotten to work with the uh, Made in Space 3D printer yet, but uh, I'm excited at, at uh, the possibility. Over. 
Hi, it's Ever here again. What did you study after high school? Over. Every, I, I discovered that I was very uh, interested and, and good at biology, so I studied the biology at university, yeah. and then uh, went on to study physiology, and then went to medical school and studied uh, medicine, of course, and became a physician. Um, and that, it was a, it was a, a great privilege to, to work as a physician, and uh, and it led me to the possibility of becoming an astronaut and working here on the International Space Station. Over. Hello, hi there again. What has surprised you positively? Over. I, yeah, I think uh, a surprise that's both, that's both uh, positive and a little negative is how quickly time has passed up here. Five months sounds like a long time to be away from my family, um, but uh, the time has gone very quickly, and of course that has both uh, positive and negative aspects. Over. Hi, Sylvia again. What kind of physical condition is required of astronauts? Over. We have to be in very good shape, and that's the reason. The first of all is that uh, while we're up here on the space station, we have a limited medical capability, and so we need all of our astronauts to be in good um, health so that uh, hopefully they don't get sick during their missions. But we have to be in good physical condition as well um, so that we're healthy when we return to the Earth and uh, so that we can perform such uh, activities as doing a spacewalk, which is very physically demanding. Over. It's hard again. Can you see any man named structures from the ISS? Over. Hardy, um, of course, uh, we can see. Uh, with our eyes, we can see cities and, and uh, the changes that cities make to the Earth. And um, uh, one of the easiest structures, and it's pretty amazing, we can't really see boats, but we can see some of the wakes that uh, boats, boats create on the on the uh, ocean, and we can also see contrails from airplanes. Over. Hi, it's Doctor again. What do you miss the most from Earth? Home. Over. Part two, uh, one of the most challenging aspects of this mission, and, uh, and it, it speaks to your question, is uh, just being away from my family. So um, I try to speak to them every day on the phone, and we get to do a teleconference uh, once a week. Over. Hello, it's Miko once again. What is something you would want to have with you in the space session, but you cannot have? Over. Uh, Mika, um, I think uh, an ice uh, beverage like. Uh, um, like a uh, diet cola, uh, that's something that I, I uh, is probably my advice, but uh, I like to have that uh, when I'm eating at dinner, and, and, uh, and I'd love to have that up here. Of course, that would be a little bit different uh, in weightlessness. Over. Johannes again. Does ES express taste different than normal coffee, or does microgravity change the sense of taste? Over. No, that's a great question. Um, I have not yet tasted uh, the espresso because I've been saving that opportunity for a special occasion. Uh, but uh, coffee um, doesn't really taste all that different. The, the thing that is, and it's not because of microgravity, it's because of the way we drink it. Um, we drink coffee through straws up here, and so you don't get to smell it while you're drinking it. And smell makes up a, a big part of taste, and so we have some special uh, capillary flow beverage cups that I'm looking forward to using uh, when I drink coffee so that I get the whole experience. Over. Hi, it's Emma here again. What do you want to say to the young of the present day? Over. Um, I would just like to, to say, encourage uh, people that are in school or are um, to, to pursue their dreams, to uh, think big and uh, believe in themselves and, and uh, um, learn about things that interest them and, uh, and pursue their goals. And, and uh, you know, that's what, what I did, and I have the privilege of uh, getting to work in space today. Over. Hi, Ken. Do you have normal showers at ISS, or do you have some alternative way to take care of your personal hygiene? Over. Heidi, we don't have a shower up here. We, we tested out a shower in the, Sky, in the Skylab program back in the 70s. Um, and uh, it's a lot of overhead because the water sticks to the, the kind of the shower curtain. So instead, we just uh, basically take uh, towel baths. We have a cloth that we put water on, and we use that to clean up. Over. Hi, Sylvia. Does your personal worldview change when you see the Earth from a space astronaut? Over. Sylvia, I grew up overseas for the, uh, most of my childhood, so I felt like I had a fairly uh, worldly. Um, view of, uh, of, of the world, and, and so uh, when I got up to Earth, um, I felt like I had that perspective already, but uh, it is amazing to look back at the Earth and to see um, the planet uh, of, 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 of the walls of the sea.
Michelle and best wishes from Finland. Ocean Romeo for India, Sierra Sierra. Oscar Hotel One Foxtrot. Over. <laughs> Siinä sä hävis horisontin taakse. Ciao. Tapauksen kunnia, se on Se on näin iso, näin, näin iso mittakaavalle. Mä en vähän sillä lailla, että, että jotain yhteyttä otetaan, mutta mä en tiedä, että se on näin iso projekti. No, oh, kyllä mä ajattelin, että menisin opiskelemaan tuota luonnetieteitä. Aika ei tähtää, missä sekin on. Kyllä, jes. Kiitti, moro. Saitte amatöryhteydet hoidettua aika mukavasti. Hyviä päivää jatkoi kaikille. Seiska kolmesi. <tos>